The army has deployed in some parts of the capital in a bid to assert a sense of control by the state. They're now also securing the district in southern Tripoli that witnessed the deadliest violence since the end of the war in 2011. Despite this show of force, Libya's deputy chief of intelligence was kidnapped by unknown gunmen on the weekend from near Tripoli's international airport after he arrived from his latest travels. But an uneasy calm is slowly returning. Tripoli is observing a three-day general strike announced on Sunday by the city's local council. Most shops are closed, the streets deserted. Protesters gathered on Sunday demanding all militias from other parts of Libya to leave the city. We want everything to be civilized. We want everyone from any part of Libya who wants to come to visit Tripoli to feel free. But to come to form a militia and to have power other than the country's power, this is not acceptable. The demonstrations look as if they have been partly successful. A joint statement by the local council of Misrata and the council of elders declared a 72-hour deadline for all Misratan brigades to exit the capital and return to their city. Emotions have been running high in Tripoli following the killings on Friday, when some militiamen from Misrata, based in the capital, opened fire on protesters, trying to drive them out. People are demanding the government, seen as weak in the eyes of many, to take control across Libya and disarm the vast number of militias in the country. Rana Jawad, BBC News, Tripoli.